Get free tech advice for your business from O2 Gurus. Search O2 Business for more. Hey guys, welcome to BTech. It's Basil here and I am really excited. The reason is this is a Nexus 9. We've got a preview unit here that we can record a 10 minute video with Google's instructions. Then we're gonna get our full review unit. So watch this video to find out what we know about this so far and fire us any questions you have in the comments section below. Then we'll test out what you want us to test out with our review unit. So the Nexus 9 is an 8.9 inch screened tablet. You can see it runs Android L, Android 5.0 and that's Lollipop, but we've got the developer preview on here. So we're not gonna talk about the UI too much as we're sure you've seen that. What we are gonna talk about is the hardware. And for starters, HTC's put this together so you immediately know you're gonna expect something pretty special. If HTC focuses on anything and gets it right, it's design and speakers as well. Two front facing speakers, one up top, one at the bottom. You can see as we pull in closer, right there and right here as well as our camera refocuses. You've also got that front facing camera on screen buttons, chamfered metal edges around the side and it's a brushed metal, feels and looks incredibly rich. I've got massive hands and the slight indentation of the metal means that I can hold it one handed, quite securely, shake it as you can see, not slippery. In addition, the rubberized or the matte plastic back even doesn't feel slippery either. You've got a very subtle Nexus logo. This is available in white or black as well as a kind of gold color too. Will be available with LTE or just the Wi Fi only variant. Now, what we can do is we can talk here around the sides, and at the base is that micro USB port. You can see on the left hand side just that beautiful brushed metal, no um, details to speak of as far as buttons go. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack up at the top. Left hand side, you've got a power button and a volume rocker as well. Again, we really can't get over just how nice and rich this looks. Really adds a nice alternative to the iPad and looks very different to the iPad 2. It doesn't look like an HTC device. It does kind of look like it could have almost been made by LG except for the fact it isn't plastic just because it carries that trademark Nexus styling that was made famous with the LG Nexus 4 and indeed 5. On the flip side you've got a rear facing 8 megapixel camera and flash and of course an HTC insignia down at the base. As far as that screen goes, it's a Quad HD IPS panel. So that immediately suggests you're gonna get great viewing angles out of this thing. The user interface is pretty beautiful. We can ramp the whole thing up to max brightness. As you can see, the, it's been tweaked over prior versions of Android because you've got two stages of the notifications tray and one that extends out through to quick toggles. It's much, much more intelligent. You've got better use of uh, notifications on the lock screen. If you want to know more about it, check out all the videos online on Android L's preview build. Um, you can also see if we hop out of the notifications tray, you've got your home screens, which you can long press to access wallpapers, widgets, and settings. And you can also jump into your applications tray too. But this isn't what we're here to talk about. Like we said, we're gonna drop the brightness so it's not quite so blinding and we can carry on talking about the hardware you're gonna get in this thing. NVIDIA Tegra K1 64-bit processor. Now, why do you want a 64-bit processor? Well, it's gonna future-proof your Nexus 9. If Google decides to update their version of Android with a 64-bit only platform, then you will be in luck if you've got one of these tablets. Also, you've got an incredible GPU in there. Unfortunately, Google hasn't chucked any games on here, so we can't showcase the 3D capabilities of it, but it is very, very capable. Accounting for the two gigabytes of RAM, many people are saying that despite having two as opposed to three gig of RAM, it will perform better and will need those three gigs less than equivalent GPUs and CPUs because of that GPU in here. Can't wait to really put it through its paces. Test out those front facing speakers. Anyone who games, front facing speakers just make such a difference when you are gaming on a tablet and they're so rare and few and far between. What we can do quickly is we can open up the camera and we can take a look at Google stock camera, but also take a look at some of the pictures that this thing produces just to give you a very initial impression. We've got an HTC um, screen cleaner here. We can take that picture. As you can see, it took really nice and quickly. We can swipe across to see that picture. And you know what? Not mind blowing in true Nexus style, but not terrible either. What we can do is we can throw some fill flash in that um, and 
flip that on, take the picture again. And that flashed pretty nice and bright. Apologies for getting the glare in that screen. And again, pulling closer, a little bit of noise, a little bit of grain. So you can't expect the best camera in the world from this tablet, but it isn't too bad at all. If we were to press the menu, we can see what the actual options we've got are. Um, we can change front facing or rear facing camera. Hey, uh, we can also flip back and flash on, flash off. And we've got grid lines on, grid lines off and timer on, timer off. It's super, super simple. This is Google's camera application. You can also see if we swipe in from the left, that's where we can access video, lens blur, and panorama. Lens blur is gonna blur background blur, and the settings such as resolution, location, advanced, um, are all in the settings. And you can even do stuff like manual exposure and switch that on or off, which is awesome. Well, so that's been the camera. What else can you expect from this? Well, we can't really tell you because our time is pretty much up with this tablet. So just summarizing, Quad HD display, 8.9 inches, 7.9 millimeter thick chassis, front facing camera, rear facing eight megapixel camera. I think it's a 1.2 megapixel front facing camera. You can get it in 16 or 32 gigabyte variants though. Neither are going to be expandable. LTE or Wi-Fi variants will indeed be available. The Kepler DX1 GPU should power through everything perfectly well. And of course, you've got those front facing stereo speakers on there. Finally, the only thing which we haven't touched on, 6,700 milliamp battery. So that is the Nexus 9 in a nutshell. Hopefully you've enjoyed our video. If you have, click that like button. And if you like BTECT in general, click subscribe. If you've got any questions like we mentioned earlier, anything you want us to test out, fire them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.